so it's finally here. My baby. <laughs> the thing I've wanted for so long. The Phase 1 Clone Trooper Unit Expansion. I feel like this is one of the big things that was needed for the Clone Faction with uh, Star Wars Legion. But, now that we have, you know, some rumors of some new units coming out and the tanks coming out, we're in a really good spot with clones and droids. For those of you who don't know too, uh, clones have been doing pretty good recently. People have been playing like a triple bark speeder list and just rocking it. <laughs> All right. So let's look inside and see what we have. So, ooh. All right, so not what I was expecting, guys. I was hoping these would actually be soft or uh, be like hard plastic sprues, but they're not. But guys, we get a bag with all of our tokens and cards and stuff, our instructions, our bases, and then we get one, two, three, four minis here. All right, so let's kind of take a look and see what we have inside. So as far as the instruction goes, just like with the other upgrade kits, it comes with four models. All right, we have our phase one clone specialist, our phase one clone captain. All right, and then we have two alternative minis. You can either build a guy with a rocket launcher or a regular rifle in like that needle position. And then this guy, um, who is kind of like the little pierce weapon, you can either build him with a special weapon or with a regular weapon. And they come with unhelmeted head options, which is really great. Let's actually see how many of those we have in here. All right. So guys, this looks like to be our trooper captain. All right, he comes with an unhelmeted head. All right, our rocket launcher guy comes with our helmeted, helmetless head. Uh, so does this guy right there. And so does this guy. So if you're looking for unhelmeted heads, guys, this is the way to go. You get uh, <laughs> four of them in here, which is great for people because I know a lot of people have been ordering like 3D printed alternative heads for their clones. Um, now, if you buy a bunch of these, you could do a whole squad without them if you wanted to. Which, hey, I just may do. Who knows? We'll see in the future. Most clones, at least from the Clone Wars series, always fought with their helmet on. Because, you know, you don't want to get shot in the head. <laughs> Alrighty. So, guys, the, the tokens are kind of repeats with the only thing changing is the, um, the unit puck and the proof of purchase. But you get... One of each of the major tokens, including a smoke token, your unit token, a three suppression token, six surges. All right, and here's our back. Beautiful tokens, as ever. Nice, thick cardstock from Fantasy Flight. All right, we get one phase one clone trooper uh, unit card. And then we get into the good stuff, the actual upgrade cards. So... Phase 1 Clone Captain. Add one Phase 1 Clone Captain Mini. You gain a training upgrade icon, which would be really good for offensive push. 17 points, and it is expendable. All right. Just like the other ones, um, you can't be suppressed. Or you flip this, you can't be suppressed, but uh, you can still be panicked with this. And you also don't gain suppression. All right. Or sorry, no, you cannot remove suppression. You still gain suppression. All right, the Phase 1 Specialist, add one Phase 1 Specialist, 17 points, gain a gear. Uh, and then if you use this, you gain one aim, dodge, or surge token. Pretty good. All right, and it's kind of a, um, it's the Chevrons, so I don't know if that's a free action. I'll have to look that up to make sure. All right, so the DP23, uh, is the easy way to do that. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually a free action, so that's pretty good. All right, the DP-23 Phase 1 Trooper, so it's range 1 to 2, so it's kind of a shorter range unit. It's 2 black and a white. It has Pierce 1, which is fantastic for this group. I see these guys being in little raiding parties with Rex where he, you know, recons up, and then they just get into a position and just wreak havoc on the enemy. All right, this is another unit. Uh, this is a card I'm super excited for, which is the Rocket Launcher. It's one red, one black, one white, range two to four. It doesn't exhaust, which is great. It's cumbersome, so you can't move and shoot. It has impact, too. I think this is going to be really good for a clone trooper unit in the back of the line holding down objectives. All right, really good. And, guys, we get our three standard upgrades, our electro-binocular smoke grenades, and um, 
offensive push. I think this is uh, offensive push is going to be fantastic for clones because clones to me are this group that want to build up as many tokens as they can because they have that token sharing ability, which is great. All right, you guys. So this is our clone expansion. I uh, can't wait to get these guys built and painted so I can use them within my... Um, for those of you who don't know, I have three clone armies. I have the 212th, the 501st, and then I have um, Commander Blights. I forget their number, but I'm trying to do a whole bunch of different um, um, different legions to kind of do some historical reenactment, large-scale games and things like that. But overall, guys, a fantastic set. I see any cl uh, clone player wanting to buy at least two of these, mainly so you can make a Rex raiding party with two pierce weapon units. All right, so which is great. Um, I think I've bought six of these so far. I'm probably going to buy at least six more. But guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This has been Queen City Gaming signing out. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Oh, before you go, do me a favor. Give me a subscribe down below and a thumbs up if you want to see more. All righty, guys, this is Queen City Gaming signing out. Bye, folks. Hey, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to come on back, guys. Full Mo Tactical Monday, where we go over book reviews, um, tactics, recent tournaments. Then we also have Whatever Wednesday, where I post whatever I want. <laughs> All right. And uh, Saturday is Sigmar Saturday, where we post videos about uh, the Age of Sigmar and the uh, wonderful game that it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great videos. Queen City Gaming, signing out.